Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. But before we get to Eclipse Day, we have to worry about a storm. Well, it's just a, it's a messy storm. <laughs> I think most people want to get it out of here and mm -hmm. look forward to the eclipse. Yes. And there's going to be a lot of outages in a localized area tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. It's a downslope windstorm. We're really not talking about widespread slippery travel till tomorrow night, I think. So let's show you what's going on right now. The main area of low pressure is still way far away. There may be a sprinkle in southern Vermont, but we've got sun north. Big picture really tells the story. If you see the swirl here just south of Chicago, that is the primary low. It's going up into Michigan. Terrible track uh, for us. It means a messy mix. But eventually it sends its energy to the coast and we've got a coastal low that develops. So it's very mild right now. 50s for the most part. That's why it's a shower of mostly rain in southern Vermont tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. But most of us are just dry through the early part of tomorrow. And then in the afternoon we've got this ugly looking mess of sleet freezing rain, not too much of it, snow and rain, depending on where you are. You'll see here Champlain Valley, not super impactful through the afternoon. A lot of rain coming on down, snow in the mountains, sleet in there as well. And this mix, let's just make it easy and say it goes till the end of tomorrow. So late in the evening and then after midnight as we go into early Thursday morning, it's all snow. So we have the same idea. First half of the storm is a mix. Second half of the storm is all snow. And so because of that, Thursday morning is the tough time out on the roads. And then the snow falls apart through the day Thursday. It does not leave. There will be more accumulation even into Friday. But if you're looking for a nice area of put together snow that you can really track on the radar, it's done at some point early on Thursday. Just these real persistent snow showers keep on going through Friday, even a little bit of Saturday. So what we're trying to encompass here is, is really just the main batch of mix, the main snow. And so we still think it's a foot of snow plus, could be way more than that, but it's a foot of snow here, Lion Mountain to Whiteface, four to eight in the Champlain Valley. Will there be some twos and threes? Absolutely, probably in the Champlain Islands. We've got such a strong wind coming off the mountains, it's a drying effect, so that is, always a signature of less snow right along Route 7. About a foot or so plus near Sugarbush, and we're still calling for 8 to 12 inches in the southern mountains because of how much sleet mixes in initially. Now the wind is a big deal on western slopes. It's coming out of the east, so it comes down the western slopes, and that is where the gusts will be near 60 or 70 miles per hour, mostly tomorrow. I know a lot of the big weather stations here don't really say it, but you got to look at the color. See how the color outlines the spine of the Green Mountains, some of the White Mountains in New Hampshire, maybe even some of the Adirondacks. So that goes on mostly tomorrow evening, slowly diminishing for Thursday morning. So the next four days bring impact weather, though it's mostly impactful uh, Wednesday night and Thursday early. Just rain and snow showers for Friday and Saturday, minimal stickage during the day on the roads just because we've got that April sun angle temperatures in the 40s and uh, as we go along you see the weather still looks pretty good there towards eclipse day so I believe Andrew is standing by for a detailed look at some of these counties that are really get that wind tomorrow night about 24 hours from now right yeah, Tyler, for sure. It's really late afternoon tomorrow, Wednesday evening into the overnight and then very early Thursday morning is the time frame we're watching for for some localized damaging wind gusts. So Bennington, Rutland counties especially look to get hard hit and then possibly parts of Addison and Chittenden counties, especially eastern parts of those counties. But starting things off with Bennington County, the time frame we're looking at is 5 p.m. Wednesday to 7 a.m. Thursday for the strongest gusts. There could be 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts during this time frame, including Manchester, Arlington, down towards Bennington and Pownell. So the entire county could be impacted. Rutland County, same kind of time frame, 5 p.m. Wednesday into the overnight up to about sunrise on Thursday. There could be some gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour or higher, especially right along and just east of Route 7, Pittsburgh to Rutland, down to Clarendon and Danby included. Checking in on Addison County, 
uh, especially eastern parts of the county there, Middlebury towards Middlebury State Airport, Bristol, Moncton, Ripton, Salisbury, all could see some gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour overnight Wednesday night. And then Chittenden County, it's especially far eastern parts of the county, Huntington, Richmond, Underhill could see some gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour, locally higher than that late Wednesday evening. This is a, a forecast here for Rutland. You can see there may be some gusts uh, over 60, even 70 miles per hour in that area briefly late tomorrow evening. So we'll be watching it and have updates uh, tomorrow night for sure. Jack, I'll send it back over to you. Andrew.